So here is the hybridization of carbon allotropes whereby we can see that carbon, it can have more than one type of uh, hybridization. So example for graphite, the type of hybridization is sp2. So um, this will be the arrangement, the atomic arrangement. And as for diamond, it has sp3 hybridization. That's why it will have a different properties. We can see clearly that graphite and diamond has a very different properties due, due to the uh, arrangement of the atoms. That is because of the different types of hybridization. And the one that has been uh, discovered in the 90s, uh, which is fullerene, um, in 1996, uh, buckyball, this one, and in 2020, carbon nanotubes has been discovered. Okay, a bit about uh, buckyball. Uh, C60, it is also, uh, it is uh, named as Buckminster fullerene. It is, consists of 20 hexagonal and 12 pentagonal rings as the basis of icosohedral symmetry close to cage structure. So it looks like a soccer ball. Yeah. So the type of hybridization here is sp2 hybrid. So here are the properties and application of fullerene. So first, it has extremely small diameter of nanoparticles that can be applied as nanomedicine. It, it is also strong and it has high tensile strength so that it can be used as a composite materials. And it has a powerful antioxidant and anti-radical. It can be used in cosmetics or pharmaceutical products. It has high surface area volume ratio. So this is very useful to be as a catalyst. And it is an excellent conductor. So it can be used as semiconductor and superconductor.